Hi everybody, it's Mayor Betsy Price and Chief Ed Krause and you will have Chief Davis and Brandon Bennett with us shortly. We wanted to provide you an update tonight as we move forward with the coronavirus situation. From now on we will have daily updates via Facebook beginning at 6, 6, 6 sorry y'all, beginning at 6 p.m. every evening. We will also stream it on the city website if you don't do Facebook. This is an unusual situation that's facing the nation, the state, the city, indeed all of us, and it's constantly changing. It's very, very fluid. I know that these, <coughs> excuse me, changes in the unknown create a lot of fear. We want you to know that we're working to alleviate as much of that as we can. Know that the City of Fort Worth stands prepared with our friends at Tar Tarrant County and is monitoring this very, very fluid situation. What we are doing as a city is not meant to be alarmist, but to be mindful for you, our residents, and for the overall health and well-being of our community. In Fort Worth fashion, we've seen so many of you step up to the plate to help your neighbors, to help small businesses continue doing that, but helping the people that are impacted by this pandemic. Right now, though, the best way you can help is to stay home and follow the CDC guidelines and recommendations. Practice social distancing just as we are today. But today I'm going to announce new requirements and new guidelines. Beginning tonight at midnight, the City of Fort Worth is enacting new guidelines relating to the occupancy of local businesses. 50% of their certificate of occupancy or a maximum of 125 people at a time. For example, if a business is allowed via their CO to have 160 people, they now can't have more than 80 people at a time, and that includes employees. However, if a business is allowed to have 600 people, they're maxed at 125 people to comply with this declaration. Let me be clear, the previous city limit was 100, went from 250 down to 125 tonight. This isn't to be draconian or rough. This is for your safety. We know that this is spread by people being in contact and out and about. I'm now going to turn it over to Chief Krause to talk a little bit about how it applies. Chief? Thank you, Mayor. <clears throat> so these social protocols apply to the following locations. Restaurants, bars, event centers, gyms, hotel restaurants, retail stores, theaters, grocery stores, public buildings, plazas, houses of worship such as churches, synagogues, mosques, and malls. For businesses that do choose to remain open like restaurants and bars, the following are several specific recommendations that can be implemented. Uh, strongly encourage takeout and curbside service when available as opposed to sit-down dining. Remove every other chair at a bar to implement adequate social distancing. Seat the customers at every other table in a checkerboard fashion, again, to maintain social distancing. And have staff keep track of the customers inside the establishment. Thank you, Chief. Chief Davis, would you like to talk to us a little bit about enforcement? Good evening, Mayor. The uh, City of Fort Worth Fire Department uh, stands ready to enforce aggressively the fire code here in the city limits uh, regarding occupancy limits. And we're asking businesses to be diligent in their enforcement and be mindful of the public health implications. We realize that these discussions are painful for business owners and business operations, but we realize this solution will allow small businesses to remain open in light of the rapidly changing situation. However, it is important to note that if the bars and restaurants do not comply, further action may be required in order to meet the demands of the public health requirements. Thank you. This does not apply to grocery stores. We want you to stay home and have the food that you need. Chief, thank you. Brandon Bennett, our public health director here at the city, our public health authority. That's right. <clears throat> thank you, Mayor. Um, you know, this is a, a once in a hopefully lifetime event that we, we never see this again and I think it's important that people really kind of wrap their arms around it and put it in perspective because we, we are at 
a, a juncture where we have the possibility to reduce the number of our fellow residents that die from this virus, the number of residents that become permanently dis disabled from this, and then, of course, the number of residents that um, suffer the virus and, and, and the consequences on a, on a short term. That we need to understand that, that this virus does not discriminate. It doesn't say, hey, you're a Fort Worth resident, therefore I'm not going to infect you. That it affects the, the young, the middle-aged, the very old, and to the, to the old and to those with um, compromised immune systems. Uh, it is an extremely high risk and we're seeing an increasing fatality rate that we are doing these measures to protect our residents from both illness and from loss of life. Uh, these are not draconian, like you said earlier, that these are very um, reasonable things that we see happening across the nation because we know if we can reduce possible exposure, then we also reduce the spread of the, the virus among the most risky populations. Thank you. Thank you all for being here. Folks, we know this is hard for everybody. It's hard on us and hard on our families. These weren't made lightly, nor will any new decisions be made lightly. But this is a chance where we'll all come together and pull that load together and we'll get past it sooner rather than later. It's tough on businesses. It's tough for white staff, hospital staff, anyone in the service industry may be laid off. We'll continue to work with you. Workforce Solutions will work with you. But this is a great opportunity for you to stay home, to play board games with your children, to read, to binge watch if that's what you want to do. Get to know each other. Remember, Facebook is out there. Remember, FaceTime is there. If you've got a loved one in a care facility, you can FaceTime them. Or if your grandchildren are across town and you can't see them, FaceTime with them. Enjoy it. I know it's difficult, but we're here watching after what goes on and trying to keep Fort Worth moving forward for all our residents to keep us all healthy and to keep our businesses open whenever we can. Thanks for being with us tonight.